So I have a couple of confessions to make right off the top here. Number one, this is a module of our Amazon Web Service Solutions Architect series that I absolutely couldn't wait to get to, and that's because I love databases. I always have, always will. They really help me to get so interested in information technology to begin with. The other thing I want to say is that I was so surprised at how tricky the questions involving Amazon Web Service databases were for me in the AWS Solutions Architect Associate exam, and also for that matter, in the SysOps Administrator exam. These question areas can be super tricky, so that excites me even more to bring this content to you and make sure you don't have pains if you're interested in certification. Now, when I was crafting exactly what I was going to cover with you, probably no surprise that I went right to Amazon's overall list of services, went to the database category, and realized, okay, RDS, DynamoDB, ElastiCache, Redshift, all of these must be covered in detail. And don't forget, when you start talking about like the relational database service, inside of here, we need to discuss things like Amazon Aurora, which is AWS's own database invention, if you will. We need to look at things like their implementation of engine options like MySQL, MariaDB, SQL Server. So there is many, many topics here to discuss. But then comes the question of, okay, it's fairly easy for me to pick these topics out that we need to cover, but what scope do we cover them in? <clears throat> to tackle this issue, we will stay, for the most part, in the scope of the most popular AWS certification to date, and that is the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate Certification. Yes, there's lots of database questions in the Cloud Practitioner. Of course, there's tons of database questions, as I alluded to, in the SysOps Administrator Associate Certification. And of course, you have to know a ton about databases in the DevOps track. But note that the types of questions you'll be able to answer easily are going to come out of this material tracking to that specific cert. A great way to think about this is just imagine what a solution architect would have to know about databases compared to a developer. The, the solutions architect is really worried about choosing the correct database technology for the correct job, where the developer is more concerned with the API calls and things of that nature to interact with the database. So our scope will be that of Solutions Architect. And this course fits in with our other AWS Solutions Architect subject matter. So we have one on compute. And you would certainly want to know those topics. We have one on networking, critical to know that. We have one on, geez, what else? I've created so many. We have one on storage. And notice how these are going to play and integrate with our discussion of databases. So they really are to be taken as a whole because storage has huge implications here. Compute resources are going to be interacting in some way inevitably with our databases. And all of this stuff is being stored in networking components. So we loved that we broke it up for you. Just keep in mind, many of you viewing this are going to want and need it all if you don't already have some measure of expertise in these different areas. Well, as I alluded to, I've been waiting for a long time for this module, super excited, and I hope you are too. So without further ado, let's get started into our content. I hope you found this nugget informative, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.